Hello friends, this is Shobha from CNS and today we are in conversation with the mayor of Bogor city in Indonesia, uh, Dr. Bhima Arya Sogiarto. Uh, well, he looks more like a student to me than a mayor, uh, very different from uh, what many of you would be having an opinion of mayors and people in high position. Uh, you can see for yourself. Uh, so Dr. Sogiarto, we are really happy that uh, you are so involved with uh, this whole initiative of APCAT. Uh, Dr. Sugyarto is uh, the co-chair of Asia Pacific City Alliance for tobacco, uh, pre uh, tobacco Control and NCD Prevention, that is prevention of non-communicable diseases. And I believe you are one of the founder co-chairs of APCAT. Right, yes. What made you mm, become part or what uh, interested you to become part of this alliance? Well, health issues is always my passion because I grew up in a family where health is the major concerns. That's the first point. Mm -hmm. The second point is that currently we are dealing with so many, you know, uh, diseases that we have to handle in terms of making uh, people healthier and I'm observing the increasing numbers of non-communicable diseases it's like diabetes, uh, lungs, uh, and I think it is about time to focus on uh, this issue. And I think another issue is also about the fight uh, against poverty, poverty alleviation to reduce poverty, because the data shows that uh, now more and more people are trapped with this uh, poverty uh, lines because of uh, the use of tobacco, uh, the habit of uh, smoking. So as a mayor, I think uh, it is my responsibility to making people healthy and also to educate uh, younger generations about the dangers of uh, smoking. Uh, can you uh, just share with us some of the initiatives you have taken since 2016 when APCAT, this alliance was formed uh, in your city uh, for tobacco control and NCD prevention which can be replicated elsewhere because local action is so very important to get the, reach the end game of tobacco and also to prevent NCDs. So can you share some of those initiatives? Honestly speaking, I am so fortunate to have a good system here in our bureaucracy in Bogor, which is inherited by our predecessors. The previous mayor, Mr. Diani, uh, focused on this issue as well. We, uh, we had local regulations in dealing this, with these tobacco controls mm -hmm. uh, since uh, 10 years ago probably. So I'm just continuing and strengthening what has been done by my predecessors. Uh, we uh, approve uh, the implementation of our local regulations which ban the use of uh, tobacco advertisement throughout the city. And we are strengthening our regulations in terms of, you know, uh, uh, tobacco advertisement display at point of sale mm -hmm. and I'm glad that now it is not only the government who is uh, concerning about uh, tobacco control but also from the society. We are assisted by uh, local NGOs here in Bogor, we are supported by high school students, mm -hmm. we are also making some sort of collaborations with any stakeholders within the city. So the ambience is here, the uh, spirit is here, so we would like to you know, um, disperse and distribute the spirit, not only throughout the Indonesia, but also to the region. Uh, uh, because I have come to Bogor for the first time, and for the few hours I have spent, I was really struck by the greenery and the huge botanical gardens you have here. Uh, and I think they are part of, uh, or they can contribute towards uh, NCD control also. So any special measures you think um, can be taken or have been taken, and particularly you are talking of students, 
I have also heard you organized a huge student uh, uh, rally recently right. against uh, tobacco. Uh, so how can, uh, because uh, stu uh, the youth power is really a power to reckon with. So how do you propose to harness that power to not only end uh, tobacco but also control NCDs? Well, two keywords, infrastructures and cultures. I do believe that making a adequate uh, infrastructures is a necessary strategy to build a positive cultures. So since last few years, we have been building a new pedestrian path, a new jogging lines, and a new uh, track for uh, cycling uh, within the city, uh, in the heart of the city. And we also uh, renovated some parks. We do the beautification of the city. So people are now enjoying more and more public spaces compared to the last uh, few decades in the city. And I'm, I'm witnessing the, uh, the increasing numbers of uh, people who are now using these uh, uh, public uh, spaces. Uh, so we are seeing the you know uh, the uh, positive trends of uh, have healthy left lifestyle uh, in our city. If you are passing uh, the botanical garden in the morning, in the afternoon, even during the night, mm -hmm. you can always see the people who are you know enjoying uh, this uh, jogging track. Mm -hmm. So building infrastructures to make a very positive cultures, not only for those who are you know suffering from uh, specific disease, mm -hmm. but also from youngsters, mm -hmm. but also for uh, teenagers, our kids, so they are get used to you know to do a very healthy lifestyle in the city. Yeah, and I would like to add the, the word women there because uh, what I found, I was coming from the airport and I found a lot many markets open at night and it felt as if it's a safe city and uh, that is also important. I think it is a very safe city, so not only having places but safe places for people to walk, yeah. uh, particularly women and children. And yes. uh, I, I was very impressed by that. Uh, so um, Indonesia has not signed the FCTC. Or has it? See. No. No, no, no. But yet. still, but yes. still, we see so much of good action on ground. Yes, yes. We also hear that uh, smoking is a problem in Indonesia, so that is why it's important to pro replicate what you all are doing here. And I just was wondering how many cities in Indonesia are part of this alliance? Well, I have I have to say that uh, five years ago. Uh, we were talking about the only few cities who are really interested in this uh, issue of tobacco control. Mm -hmm. But now I can, you know, communicate with uh, like uh, 20 something cities. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are now having uh, good regulations mm -hmm. for tobacco control. It's, it's a basic uh, movement actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, so first, uh, it is a must to have a legal framework, a solid and strong legal framework uh, as a basis for uh, this movement. And uh, we are also seeing the growing numbers of uh, cities who are uh, involved uh, in this movement. So in Wednesday, uh, we can see some of the uh, local leaders who will be attending uh, this uh, fourth Epicat Summit. So this is something like a ripple effect, which is taking the form of a wave, and then it will become yes. a tsunami for right. tobacco. Uh, the initial issue was related to the uh, local income. Mm -hmm. uh, many will uh, argue that the more we uh, fight uh, tobacco, mm -hmm. uh, the less we receive uh, for our local income, mm -hmm. uh, because we we are losing a potential uh, investors and also, uh, you know, uh, uh, advertisements from tobacco industries. But uh, in the case of Bogor, it is proven that it is not the case. Mm -hmm. So since the last five years, mm -hmm. since we are uh, implementing uh, these local regulations to ban uh, tobacco advertisement, uh, our local income has been significantly increased. 
So actually, you are sort of reinforcing what at the global level. I think uh, we are losing 1.4 trillion dollars every year mm -hmm. because of uh, tobacco-related uh, diseases and health problems. Yeah. And Bogor is one example where you are saying that uh, uh, banning tobacco has actually increased the revenue yes. rather than uh, very often even politicians give that. Uh, excuse that if we ban tobacco we will be lo losing revenue in fact you'll be gaining yes. that, yeah. we are losing from uh, tobacco industries but we are gaining some more yeah. from another uh, healthy lifestyle products mm -hmm. right 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 uh, uh, can you um, elaborate a little bit about on the fourth apicat and uh, of course why bogor city i think bogor city is uh, was chosen because of the great efforts of people like you so, can you just elaborate a little bit about what we hope to gain from this fourth episode? Well, the aims are threefold. First is about, you know, uh, sharing best practices. We like to learn from other cities' best practices, uh, not only for, you know, uh, preventive, uh, promotive, uh, but also uh, another uh, creative um, movements which are already initiated by those cities. Uh, secondly, uh, we want to be updated about the latest issue uh, for tobacco control, legal issues, communications, uh, medias, and so on and so forth. So we are hoping that this summit will also uh, update our uh, strategy of movement in terms of tobacco control. Uh, thirdly, uh, it is also our uh, patience to inspire uh, the countries and regions so they know that uh, we have uh, no options rather than consolidating ourselves uh, to focus on tobacco control. Yes, and uh, for me it is a good initiative because local action is very important. We talk at the global level, we have a global level treaty also for that. But the work has to be done at the ground level yes. and uh, that is what uh, cities like Bogor and other cities are showing that unless local action is strengthened, I don't think we'll be able to reach the end game of tobacco. Uh, your final message for all cities in the world. Yeah. Well, uh, Benjamin Barber said that uh, it is mayor who rules the world. It is mayor who changed the world. So uh, let's do uh, together the movement uh, for uh, you know controlling the tobacco. And it is not only about uh, current generations, but what we are doing now is also for the next generations. So let's do something for the betterment of the society and making people healthy. Thank you very much. We were in conversation with Dr. Bhima Arya Sogyarto, the mayor of Bogor City. And you have heard what he has done and what he intends to do as a mayor and what all of us can do in our own little way for to end tobacco and also to control NCDs at the same time. Thank you.